up YouTube? It's Brooke and I am back with another video! I always love like starting my videos like that because it's like woo, gets me all pumped for the video. So it has been a while. I feel like it's been forever. I mean it's only been a few weeks since I've done like a sit down video that's not a vlog but this feels really great because this is like this is like my home in a sense. This is what I'm used to you know. So today as you can tell by the title I am going to be dragging your guys' zodiac signs. So I just want to pre-warn you guys. If you're here and you're like, mm, I'm gonna get offended. I'm going to, I'm gonna get so hurt. Or if you're like, mm, I'm ready to fight. If she says something wrong, I am ready to throw some hands. Then this is not the video for you guys. You know, you guys are clicking on a video to be insulted. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I know there's gonna probably be comments that are like, uh. Us Cancers are not that emotional, or us Aries do not pop off a lot. That That's just you saying that, and like, guys, sure, maybe if you're an Aries, you don't have anger issues, or maybe if you're a Cancer, you're not very emotional, but that's because there's so many other factors in your chart that you gotta look at your whole chart, you know? You can't just look at your sun and think, oh, that's what I... So don't get super offended if I say something and you're like, but I'm a Gemini and I don't do that. Like, don't get offended. This is a straight up stereotype video. Just like my last zodiac sign, this is just saying, hey, look at your sun, look at your moon, look at your rising. Those are the main three components here. So look at those. But honestly, look at your whole chart because I'm gonna be saying some stuff and it'll make more sense. Okay, let's get this video started. <laughs> I'm ready for the comments to begin. Aries, 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 Aries. You know, I love you guys. And you guys know that, like I think you guys are so much fun and you guys are legit fun to party with, fun to go out with, great people. They literally get my energy just pumping being around them, you know? But you know the number one thing that I can't stand about you guys? You guys can be so, so, so competitive and it's annoying as frick. Like, a little bit of healthy competition always, like, never hurts anyone. It's always good for the soul, you know? I like competition, don't get me. But an Aries is the type to, like, get their paper back and be like, what you get, what you get? And you'd be like, oh, dude, I got an A minus. And they're like, <laughs> I got an A plus. Like, they're that type of person that, like, will make a competition out of anything, and it is so annoying. Or, like, I feel like with anything, like, even if they don't know anything about a certain subject, they kind of have to know more than you. Like, they have to, they like being first. They, they're known, of course, being the first zodiac sign, they like to be first. It just, it just gets annoying, you know? They, they like being your favorite person, as anyone likes being your favorite person, but, like, they have to be the number one spot, you know? Just that, like, part of an Aries, I just can't stand. Like, how they are so competitive, and they're, like, always having to be number one. It's like, okay, Aries, settle down here. You're not always gonna be number one. I'm sorry to break it to you. It's a tough pill to swallow. Another thing I cannot stand about Aries is you guys, I don't wanna say you guys have anger issues, <laughs> but you guys can be total pricks if you guys get mad. Like. You guys will say some stuff and be like, like you guys will totally like flip out on someone when you're mad and then you'll be like, oh, I didn't mean that. I didn't. No, I didn't mean that. But it's like, you just told them that like, that you hate their whole family. Like, <laughs> they also hold grudges so hard. Oh my gosh, they hold them for so long and they have these bad grudges, which don't get me wrong, I can hold some grudges too, but not as bad as an Aries. Like, if you... <laughs> Like, I feel like Aries is the type that, like, if someone took their candy bar in second grade, they'd still be mad at them, like, to this day about it. And be like, mm, I don't trust that girl Cassandra. Why don't you trust Cassandra? She took my Pringles when we were in third grade, and she's not, she's not trustworthy. <laughs> like, I, I, I feel bad for roasting the you guys, honestly, but... <laughs> Now that Aries has popped off in the comments, let's move on to Taurus. <laughs> Taurus, you guys, you guys know I love you because you guys are peacemakers almost. And like, you guys love peaceful settings and you guys are so loyal. But you know what I don't like about you? You guys, I was talking about Aries tempers. That's nothing compared to a Taurus temper. Taurus tempers are like, they, they don't just pop off. <laughs> I feel like when a Taurus is mad, like they'll build up 
stuff in them. Like they, they don't just pop off over little things like Aries kind of does. I feel like a Taurus has to build up, but then since they like built up over time, which I do this, I'm kind of being hypocritical, but I, I do, I understand you guys. But they'll build up their emotions and then they'll flip out on you when that final thing hits, you know, and that's a total Taurus move. Another thing that I can't stand about you Tauruses is that you guys don't like change. This is a personal one because I'm a Gemini. I love change. Absolutely, like my parents are even like kind of in a sense like this. They're like, oh, we don't want to go to any countries that are, no, we, we just want to stay in the U.S and I, I don't understand anyone that wants to go outside of what they don't know. Like, and that's a total Taurus standpoint. That kind of mindset drives me up the wall. I, I can't stand it. I'm like, how do you guys just wanna chill at home and like not go out to like, I don't know, not go out and do something fun on your day off? There goes my phone. Even like if you go to a, a new restaurant or like, no, a restaurant that you always go to and you always get the same meal, it's just kind of like, you guys are too afraid to change it up, and that just drives me insane, because I'm the polar opposite. And of course, you guys already know what I'm going to say, Taurus. You already know. You guys are so stubborn. Oh my gosh. Hands down, the most stubborn sign, Taurus. It's you guys. You guys, like, know exactly what you want, I feel like, for the most part. And, like, I don't know. You guys are just so stu stubborn with everything. Everything. Like, it has to be your way or the highway, and that's just, no one likes that. Okay, on the Gemini. So if any of you guys are like, this freaking hypocrite, she's not even going to criticize herself, she's criticizing all of us, no, 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 just wait, I'm a Gemini, I'm about to freaking go off on myself, I'm literally about to freaking roast myself. So Gemini's, the lovely sign. You guys are perfect, there's nothing wrong with you. Okay, on to the next one. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, don't comment. I'm gonna pop off on myself, just wait. Number one thing that sucks about us Gemis. What am I, Gemis? Like semis? What am I saying? Geminis is the fact that we're basically bipolar. We are so, so, so moody. It's like one second you'll be like out with your friends having a good time and then like the next second you're mad about what happened three years ago. And it's like, wait, I was just, I was just having a good time with my friends. Why am I thinking about what in the world? Like what? <laughs> it's not even just that, but like little things I feel like can set a Gemini off and kind of like make them mad. And like Geminis, they can be jerks when they're mad. Like, I mean, we can be awful. Like some of the things we say since we're so good at like communication, it's like we can be terrible when we're mad. We'll, we'll hit you in places you didn't even know we could hit you. <laughs> But like overall with like the whole moodiness, I feel like we're like that song by Katy Perry, Hot and Cold. Like that's literally us. Like the first line's like a, you change your mind like a girl changes clothes or something like that. And that is, that's Gemini. That, I bet that song was written about Gemini. We're also very difficult to figure out because when you're figuring us out, you're not really figuring out one person. If, this is gonna sound super creepy, but like you're figuring out our multiple personalities You're figuring out kind of in a sense all of these different people and like I don't know this kind of sounds weird, but like w I feel like we have so many personalities within us that like we're so hard to figure out and the final thing I don't like about Gemini's including myself is we're a little narcissistic not as much as some other signs <laughs> Leo, <laughs> but <laughs> we I don't know we like we know we're funny and we know we're good at communication and we know like we're good people to be around so like Here's the thing that's wrong with that. Let's just put um, let's put us in this perspective We're at a party and there's a Gemini friend there the rest are all these other signs There's your Gemini friend at the party and they crack a joke and everyone starts laughing Okay and everyone's like, oh my gosh, that was so funny. And Gemini in their head, they're like, man, I just got all these people to laugh at my joke. And like, the spotlight's on me for a second. Like, so what they try to do is they'll try to expand that spotlight and they'll do something that's just too far. Like, <laughs> and this is, this is even myself, I'm telling you. But like, it's like the type of friend that like, <laughs> I feel like it's the type of friend that does a dive into a pool and everyone applauds them, and then they're like, mm, okay, time for the high dive into the shark pool. Like, and it's like, no, 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 okay, uh, that was, that's too far. Like, you, you gotta, like, I feel like sometimes we don't know our limits, 
and we'll try to break them for like, I don't want to say for attention, but that's kind of what it is. It's kind of just being like liked by the crowd. And I, I don't know, that's just, that's crazy. They can be attention seeking for sure, which is kind of, it's definitely annoying. Even from a Gemini standpoint, it's annoying when I see other Geminis like just wanting attention. It's like, okay, can you not? But like, I can definitely be that way sometimes too. And it's all in the Gemini roots. Okay, enough of roasting myself and our people onto Cancer. Cancers, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. Don't cry about it, but you guys are so, so emotional. I mean, when I think of Cancer, I don't even really think about the good parts of a Cancer first, honestly. I think of, not even like the negative parts, I just think of emotional, emotional. Like that's the first thing that pops in my head with Cancer is they're emotional, which isn't necessarily bad, but it can be annoying at times. I feel like they're that friend that like, when they do something wrong and they go to you to like apologize, they're gonna like burst into tears and it's like, I understand like of course like, if it's super sincere and they did something absolutely terrible, I get crying, but I feel like they burst into tears over anything, you know? And it's like, okay, that's not necessary. Can we not? Something that personally drives me crazy about cancers is you guys follow your heart and not your head usually. And to me, that's so annoying because I'm the opposite. I always follow my head, even though it kills my heart later on. That's deep out of the point. But they also, like, that just kind of like annoys me because it's like, why don't you guys use your common sense? Like, I feel like a cancer is the type of person to go back to someone who's cheated on them again and again and again and it's like why would you do that sure i know that you like the person a lot but they don't love you honey they don't or else they wouldn't have cheated on you in the first place the final thing i don't really like about a cancer is you guys can tend to pity yourself it's just kind of oh no no no! it's my rising my rising is in cancer not my moon my moon's in libra cancer is you guys I don't know, it's just, it's just the kind of like, I don't want to say an emotional wreck or emotional mess, but that's kind of what I think of with cancers. And like, it's not like always a bad thing, like they're the friend that's also super sweet. And if you want to see why I love you guys, go click on that video, if it's not making you guys sad, it's okay, you guys can go click on my other video and you'll be happy. But yeah, I just want to like, I just, my only thing about cancers is that they're kind of emotional wreck. Leo, Leo, Leo! Leos. Also, I already know what I'm gonna say, I kind of hinted at it earlier. You guys are super narcissistic. And it's like, I don't want to even like say narcissistic, but you guys are just so full of yourselves that I kind of have to. Leos, I mean, they're the type to like kind of hint at compliments. I feel like they're the type to do that, to like, like get a new hairstyle and like wear it around you and kind of like I just kind of get that vibe that they would like totally hit at like wanting compliments. I don't know, just like that part of a Leo that's like narcissistic, it can be annoying at times. And it's hard to talk bad about Leos because everyone likes Leos. They're probably, they're actually, it's not even probably, they are the most likable sign. But like, yeah, I just, I feel like you guys just look in the mirror every day and then like, I am a Which, honestly, good for you. I'm not even gonna be talking crap about that part because Good for you. Um, the only other thing I really don't like about Leos is that they don't like talking about serious things usually. And this is not all Leos, of course. Leos are kind of known for like being kind of childish in a sense and like youthful and they don't like having those serious deep conversations like other signs do. So I feel like talking to a Leo about like, I don't know, the afterlife or something or I don't even know, just family problems or uh, relationship issues like I feel like that kind of stuff isn't meant for Leo talk it's it's kind of like Leo's are there the way I see it is they're there to like have fun with and they're there for like everything else but like serious topics they're known to not um, get too involved in those because they're they're just little happy creatures like they're <laughs> I don't know Virgo Virgo La Virgo can you guys tell I've been in quarantine forever number one thing I don't like about Virgos and I it's, I'm gonna explain this. It's not even that you guys like affect me with this, but you are affecting your own self and I don't like that. You guys can be very critical of yourself. And that's the number one thing I really don't like about Virgo. I don't know, they can just be super critical of themselves, they can be super critical of people in their lives, they can be super critical of, uh, of their houses, uh, always having to clean or um, their cars, wanting to have the uh, materialistic um, 
stuff and that that kind of stuff about a Virgo I don't like I feel like a Virgo kind of has to realize that like life's not gonna be perfect and I think that like, they do realize that but like I feel like uh, like my mom's a Virgo so I'm, I'm gonna use her for an example the house always has to be clean we can't have people over if the house isn't clean and it's like even people that have came over like a thousand times like it still has to be clean my grandma that comes over every time that she comes over she's been over like a million times my mom's still like oh my gosh i'm so sorry that the dishes aren't done and like the laundry is on the counter because i was folding it and all this and that and like my grandma's like chill like it's okay like it's, it's a house that's lived in like it doesn't have to be perfect and my mom's still like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, ah. And every like day off she spends cleaning, like it's just kind of like, take a break, Virgos. Try take a break, mom. I feel like they can be very critical of the people around them too. I mean, I had a friend that was a Virgo and like it seemed like no guy I got with was like perfect enough for me. Which is good, and I've been that friend before. Trust me, I have. Uh, but like, it's just kind of like the idea of perfection I feel like with a Virgo um they can also overstress themselves which I've definitely seen in all my Virgo friends and I've definitely seen in my Virgo family members you guys just need to take a chill pill and relax like that's all I can say Virgos it is like just chill out like relax because watching you guys stress out and watching you guys be critical of yourselves and everything around you it's exhausting and it's not even like I'm involved like in that. The only other thing I don't like about Virgos is they're known for drama. <laughs> and they kind of, I feel like they crave drama a little bit uh, and it's just they're always seeming to be the ones that are involved in drama and I don't like that. I don't. Libra. The scales. The whoo scales. Oh my gosh, I can't stand this about a Libra. Number one pet peeve about a Libra is that they care so much about what everyone thinks of them. And I mean everyone. It is just so annoying because it's like, even if they met the person one time, never gonna talk to them again, they'll kind of be like, well, when I said this earlier, I feel like she looked at me kind of weird and I don't know if I should say sorry. I'm just gonna say sorry. <laughs> Which brings us to our second thing I hate about you guys. Okay, hate's a strong word. Dislike about you guys. You guys apologize over everything to everyone. It is so annoying. Like, it's like those, those memes that are like that friend that always apologizes. Like, that is literally a Libra. And you guys know you do. You guys know you have a problem, but you guys can't fix it. You guys are like, well, I'm all about balance, I'm all about peace and having peace in my life that I have to apologize to people even if I know, like, I don't have to. I feel like also going with what I said earlier, with them having to have everyone like them, they're the type of people that would do anything to have a stranger like them. I mean, I feel like they're the type of person that, let's say they start dating someone, their significant other's friend doesn't like them. I feel like they're the type of person to be like, hey, you want to go out uh, to like go get ice cream sometime or something? Like they'd make like one-on-one -on -one plans with this person to try to gain a relationship to try to gain more in their relationship. I feel like that's just such a Libra move because I can't really think of like any other zodiac sign that would really do that. Maybe a Cancer, but like. No one else cares as much as you guys. You guys are also very indecisive. Um, if you guys ever like date a Libra or become really good friends with a Libra, you'll have to be the one to make the plans because you know they can't. I feel like uh, if you got two Libras together, they would literally probably just look at each other and debate for hours on where to go to eat. Like I could totally see that. The last thing that I cannot stand about a Libra at all, I, I hate this, is you guys are so dependent. I feel like you guys depend so much on people around you for your happiness. I just feel like a Libra has to have someone always there. Which of course, humans have to have people there. But Libras are just so dependable on their happiness for this, this, I feel like they're like hopeless romantics in a sense, because I feel like they are always trying to like, find
find a person, you know? And like, my moon is in Libra, so I do relate to this part a little bit. But I'm also like, since my Gemini rules that, like, it's just kind of like, it outrules it because I'm so independent that I, I could care less, you know, about that. But at the same time, I love having a person. And I mean, like, Grey's Anatomy cliche, a person like someone to go to for everything and like of course when I like lose my person like it sucks and it absolutely destroys me for like weeks on end and I feel like that's the Libra part of me because that is so Libra to like literally depend so much on one person for happiness and to I don't know just be so dependable copy <laughs> I'm going crazy being in the house alone, okay. Number one thing I don't like about Scorpios is gonna sound kind of weird, but I don't like how mature you guys are. Now, don't get me wrong. Maturity is very important and I can't stand the signs who are absolutely, absolutely, absolutely immature. Drives me insane. But like, I've noticed this with some Scorpio friends in the past. Like, when you're talking to them, sometimes you'll crack a joke or something randomly and they'll just kind of look at you like, are you an idiot? Like, I don't know. It's just kind of like, I get kind of boomer, classic boomer vibes from Scorpios. Like, Scorpios are just that type that sometimes, like, I don't want to say they can't take a joke because they can, but like, they are so mature. They're like the definition, I feel like, of mature. And mature is not always a good thing. I mean, you gotta have like that part of your life, I feel like, where like it's goofing around and messing around with, uh, all your friends and family and like Scorpios can do that but they are definitely more serious than others. You guys are also the biggest sign on revenge which is super annoying. I feel like if you ended things with a Scorpio and even if you ended them good they're still gonna hate you. <laughs> or like I feel like especially if you ended things bad they're gonna get revenge on you. They're gonna they're gonna find a way they're gonna look through your old messages, find something you said, screenshot it, and post it. Like, I feel like Scorpios are the type to, like, do that and, like, totally expose you. Last thing I don't like about Scorpios is it is pretty hard to get you guys to open up. Um, it can take, I feel... Well, okay, this is weird because I was, like, kind of dating a Scorpio once and, like, he opened up to me in, like, I think two weeks. Like, everything was laid out. So like, it's just kind of weird. I guess it just depends on the sign, but I know that you guys can be so hard to op like get you guys to actually open up about your feelings and how people hurt you. And it's just, I feel like it once you finally do get to open up, it's like, I feel like trust is just a big thing with Scorpios is they don't trust many people. On to Sagittarius. What I'm about to say, I'm sorry, but I mean it and it's gonna sound super harsh, but let me explain before you just jump to a conclusion. The way I look at Sagittarius people is I look at them like they're the devil. That sounds awful, but it's not a full insult. Let me explain. This is my point of view. This is not everyone's, so don't take this to heart. But like every Sagittarius I have ever met has been the same. When I become friends with a Sagittarius, at first, I love it. We have energy vibes kick in between us and like, it's like, it's like I met my best friend. Like I literally, I feel like within like two days we could be best friends and we're hitting it off and we're having so much fun. We're like the type of people that like would have the like, bomb times going out together and like Sages, I love them. I love them so much. But then you guys start gossiping. The gossiping part and talking trash part you guys are definitely known for. Um, and I will kind of catch myself like saying something to a Sag once they are doing that. Like once they're gossiping, I'll kind of pitch in and then I'll be like, why did I just say that? Like why, I don't know. It's just not me to do that. And so it kind of like, the way I see you guys is like the devil the devil comes off as perfect and they come he comes off as like literally this guy that is he's like super good to look at and I feel like he would be like absolutely delicious but he's poison you know that's the way I kind of see how the devil would be and that's how Sagittarius's are to me is personally like you guys are so much fun and I can't stress that enough you guys are literally probably my favorite sign to hang out with 
But then if I hang out with you guys too much, I start hating the person I'm becoming. You guys are also known for being flaky um, and dropping someone just like pronto. I feel like it's hard to kind of rely on a Sagittarius to be in your life because they're temporary people. And like I said, you guys are total trash talkers. You guys are the total, like, totally the type to gossip a lot, um, hear about the drama, get involved in the drama, and I just don't like that. I don't like that energy. It's just it's not my thing. Okay, we're almost towards the end of the video. Capricorn! Number one thing I can't stand about you guys is you guys get annoyed so easily. It's annoying. <laughs> like, I feel like someone could, like, tap your shoulder wrong and you guys would be like, oh my gosh, I'm done with people today. You guys are also known for being closed-minded, which I'm, being a Gemini, I'm super open-minded. So, I don't like that factor of you guys. I feel like some topics I wouldn't even be able to bring up to some Capricorns. Final thing I don't like about you guys, and I've known this to be false, so hear me out. You guys are known for being not that emotional, but I've known some Capricorns to be quite emotional. So like, it's, it, I don't know, it all just depends on the person and the rest of your chart. But Capricorns, yeah, you guys are just known for not being very emotional and not showing your emotions. And that's annoying, because I've known Capricorns to be that way, and it's annoying. Freaking, like, when you're upset with me, tell me why you're upset. Like, I'm so vocal that, like, I can't stand it. Okay, I'm sorry that was short, Capricorns, but then again, I'm not, because I'm not as criticizing you guys. On to Aquarius. Oh, the lovely Aquarius, the super weird Aquarius things. Aquarius is one of my favorite signs, not gonna lie. But, I also kind of hate you guys a little bit. Not hate, dislike, my bad, bad word. Number one thing I hate about Aquariuses is that you guys are anti-emotional and it's not that you guys aren't emotional because you guys can totally be and I've seen you guys be emotional but you guys don't like showing your emotions or talking about your emotions and it's like I feel like if you have an Aquarius friend and you're arguing with them over something I feel like you're gonna like you're gonna have to name all of your points of you and I feel like when you ask for theirs, like, you're gonna get nothing back. And like, that's because, like, I've learned with Aquariuses, like, the more mad they are, the less they speak, usually. Um, and that can be so annoying. Um, I just, I don't like that factor about Aquariuses, because I'm so vocal, I'm a Gemini, and it drives me insane. And even though we're both air signs, we're not on the same page. Everyone knows that, like, Gemini and Aquarius are, like, one of the best mixes, but that is, the only reason why they probably wouldn't mix well is because of the communication factor. I don't know, with Aquariuses, I just gotta say like, you guys just open up more. Like, you gotta, I know you guys have trust issues like a Scorpio, and I know some of us signs out here that aren't you guys have trust issues too, but like, give yourself the chance to like, open up when you meet like someone awesome. I don't know. Not, not to everyone of course, because you shouldn't, nobody should do that, but I just feel like, you guys bottle up all your emotions and like you're the type to like cry at the end of the night about it when you're like no one's around and I feel like ugh, I just hate that. Just like a Sagittarius they're also pretty hard to tie down and I didn't say this about Gemini but Gemini kinda is too because we don't know what we want but unlike these other two signs Aquarius um you guys just don't like I don't know you don't like the uh, having someone who absolutely like wants to control you. I don't want to say control, but like, I feel like if they ever got into like a super controlling relationship, they'd be like, mm, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> Last thing I can't say about Aquarius is you guys are overthinkers. Um, and that's just kind of like the Virgo, you know? Like, stop stressing yourself out so much. You don't have to be that stressed, Aquarius. Last sign is Pisces. Oh my gosh, I hate this about a Pisces. You guys take everything to heart, and it's so annoying. I feel like when you're talking or arguing with a Pisces, you really gotta watch what you say, because like, if you say the wrong thing, you're done for. You are absolutely done for. Like, I can't even imagine if like, an Aries and a Pisces was, were arguing, because like, that's nuts. Because I feel like the Aries would just pop off and say whatever, and the Pisces would be like, so hurt. Like. You said that about me. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. With a with a Pisces, you really gotta watch what you say. You really gotta watch how you say it, the tone of what you say it, 
and that's just really annoying having to like really think about every word you say. You guys are also terrible at saying no to people who you love because you don't want to hurt their feelings. I didn't say that about Libra, but they're the same way. So that can be super annoying because it's like, just say no. Like if you don't want to go, say no. If you don't want to do this, say no. Like just say no. I feel like the opposite of an Aquarius is Pisces opens up to people way too easily. Like I feel like they're the type that would literally do what I said earlier. Get like get with someone and then two weeks later have everything, every emotion poured out. Like oh yeah, when I was in third grade this happened and that's why I have commitment issues. Like, I feel like they're just the type to straight up tell you, like, everything that's wrong with them and open up. And I just, I feel like that, I know I said it's bad to not open up because it is, but it's very, I think it's worse to open up to every person you meet. Like, that's crazy. Which I feel like a lot of Pisces are guilty for doing that. And I'm sorry, but I can't stand it. This now brings us to the end of the video! So I hope that I didn't hurt your guys' feelings. And if I did, then that sucks. But you guys asked for it by watching this video titled something about criticizing your sign. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if I did hurt your feelings, then right over here somewhere, I'm going to put up my video from last year, this day today. I uploaded it. Um, and it's me complimenting your signs and I said some lovely things about each 12 of your guys' signs in there. So make sure to check that out. Well, I hope that you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure you have a big thumbs up, it'll make me a smile and I will see you guys next time I see you guys with a brand new vlog or brand new video. Mwah!